I no longer believe in the third party movement. And I'll tell you why. The Democrats and Republicans have corrupted the system so badly that any third party in which to survive will have to corrupt itself. Well, you've already got a two-headed monster. Why would you want a three-headed one? I now advocate the abolishment of all political parties in the United States of America, turn them into political action committees, which is what they are anyway. Certainly they can endorse, but end it there. And on every ballot in the United States of America, here's a simple thing we can do. Remove the party designation and put down only the name. It's too simple. The system's set up for it. If you're conservative, you don't need to know anybody's name. You look for the party. Republican, Republican, Republican. If you're liberal, you don't need to know a name. Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. By only putting down the name would then require you as a voter to educate yourself. What does John Smith stand for? Because you wouldn't have that crutch in there that would tell you conservative or Democrat. And then there's one, and you in California can get away with this stuff because you got that nonsense where you can put everything on the ballot, you know. Uh, the next thing would be simply this. How about on every state, local, and national ballot, we offer the final choice at the bottom that you can vote for none of the above? Now, people laugh at that, but what that truly is is a vote of no confidence in government. That could do volumes, huge. Because imagine for a moment, let's say I'm a Democrat, and I defeated my Republican opponent for Congress, but I lost to none of the above. More people cast their vote for none of the above than what I got. Wouldn't that make them go out there with a change of attitude? You lost to nobody. Yes, you're the congressman or the congresswoman, but you lost to none of the above. And I'm willing to bet right now there are elections in this country where none of the above would prevail. And that's a, what's wrong with that. A vote of no confidence, that would send a huge message, huge, to every elected official.